The focus of this talk is that we're going to go over the ATA guidelines as they pertain to radioactive iodine use in low-risk thyroid cancer. And so these are recent guidelines that came out, or the part we focus on is radioactive iodine use in low-risk thyroid cancer. And for the most part, most patients with low-risk thyroid cancer do not need radioactive iodine. And so this is a weak recommendation with low quality evidence. However, for patients with papillary thyroid microcarcinoma, um, especially if it's unifocal, there's a strong recommendation based on moderate quality evidence that these patients do not need radioactive iodine. And the guidelines are very thorough in their attempt to sort of review the literature to date and base it on the evidence, and then they account into the evidence into their weak versus strong recommendations. There is controversy about these guidelines, and I think that that goes with any set of guidelines, especially if there's not randomized control trials or really strong evidence behind some of the recommendations. And so it's not unexpected that there's some controversy, and so that's part of why we're having the discussion today.